So there are a few positives Graham Potter is trying to take from the defeat at home to Aston Villa. It's four wins in their last 20 Premier League games. They had 27 shots against Villa, but nothing to show for it. What was that down to? It's very difficult to say, isn't it? When you say they had 27 shots, you would imagine it'd be a, a snatch and grab from Aston Villa, but we didn't really see it like that. Um, they've struggled with goals this season, full stop. Mm. We said they play Kai Havertz up front um, as a number nine, and I think he's more number ten. I think they've struggled for an out and out goal scorer all season. Um, there were some stats in their favour today. There were some positives to take, but ultimately they've lost the game two 0 at Stamford Bridge, a game where, without being arrogant, they expect to win that game at home. Um, it's been a very very difficult season for Chelsea, as we all know. So, and it's, it continues at the moment. Where does it leave the pressure on Graham Potter, Tim? I mean, it's huge, huge pressure on him. I really believe that this might be the end of uh, the patience of Todd Bowley and the, the board of directors there at Chelsea. Well, even though they stood by him not that long ago. Yeah, but he can't keep standing by someone. <clears throat> you know, he's, he's not doing any good. You know, he's having a real poor run of it. It's not turning around. Um, and I can't see any direction going forward. I don't see a playing philosophy. I don't see results getting any better. They got a two-legger against Real Madrid. Couldn't pick a worse team to play against over mm. two legs. Um, what they do, they make a change like they did with Villas Boas as a manager, give it to Di Matteo and ended up winning the Champions League. <laughs> they won it in the past. Yeah. Lightning might strike twice, you never know. They got the players to be able to do it. Then players at the moment are looking worse under Graham Potter, unfortunately. But that's the thing, right? They need to use these league games to get some momentum for those for that double header against Real Madrid. And that was the worst possible start after the international. Yeah, which is not happening, is it? I think they almost need to look on that tie now as an isolated game and almost a distraction from the league because things are not going to plan mm. in the league. Stranger things have happened in the Champions League. Um, over the two legs, let's see where how they get on. But you wouldn't think they're in conditions, having seen that today, to go into a double leg with, with Real Madrid, let's mm. be honest. But on paper, you look at the squad, and they have the tools, they have the players to go and give them, uh, give them a good game. So it, it, the season relies on the Champions League. Make no bones about it. The league's pretty much done now, let's be honest. So it's literally it relies on the Champions League for Chelsea now. It's a fifth away win under Unai Emery for Aston Villa. 16 points on the road. A tally only matched by Manchester City since he arrived in October. Yeah. He's done a brilliant job, has he not? Yeah, clear identity of the football club. He's got the fans with him. Huge travelling support there. When they play at home, he gets the place bouncing. Incredible return of points um, onwards and upwards for Villa. You know, a lot of money to spend. They've got deep pockets, them owners. I think next year they can really look forward to it. Okay.